Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Nice. How are thanks. you? I'm doing good. I'm doing well. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, the film was so much fun. Uh, there's a lot of action, a lot of blood, like a lot, a lot of blood. Uh, first off, how did you get involved in this? Or how did you start this project? And what was the most intriguing thing for you to work on? Um, so um, I, I'm, I have made um, um, action films. I made mysteries and thrillers, but I thought uh, this time maybe I can make something that's more specialized with action. That was the initial idea. But then, then I read. I like reading actually uh, news articles and, and things like that. And I uh, bumped into the story about the uh, criminals extradited from the Philippines to Korea. And you know, once they are, they arrive in Korea. Well, that's the end of the story. But it got me thinking. What if it's not the end? How how could it could it be a beginning? You know, uh, maybe it's something happens at the end. And then, but then, you know, maybe that's still kind of little, little, little common, and maybe I can add something else. And then I again uh, read about the another article about the um, the human experimentation uh, that happened during the World War II in the Philippines. So I thought that oh, I can combine these two elements, and then that'll uh, create some changes and create a new new genre in mixed mm -hmm. genre. So that's how it all uh, developed. Yeah, it, it's 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 so much fun. It's um, a lot of people are comparing it to like Con Air, but I'm I don't know if you like that comparison. But there, are, uh, what other elements or other films do you draw from? Draw from to uh, kind of like put your take on it. Um, first of all, I am very grateful that my film is compared to Con Air because it's one of Nicolas Cage's uh, uh, signature films. So yes, you can say that the the first part is similar to Con Air, and my movie can be uh, divided into three chapters. The first chapter is is yes, is similar could be, but it's it happens in a confined place instead of a sh uh, an airplane. Mine is a ship, and however, um, I added the second and the third uh, uh, chapters. The second chapter is uh, like a creature horror. And the third chapter is like a science fiction, sci-fi action play. So mm -hmm. those three genres are combined in as one into my film. Very, very much so. It's great. Now there's a good balance in this film of uh, practical, practical effects and special effects. How did you find that balance? Um, so the the entire the, the number of the entire cuts I used I uh, for the film shots is two hundred uh, two thousand seven hundred. It's about two thousand seven hundred shots in the film, and among out of two thousand twenty seven hundred cuts, uh, seventeen hundred cuts, one thousand seven hundred cuts uh, uh, used utilized CG. Shots. Yeah, yeah, one thousand seven hundred cuts use the CG. However, the CG is used in such a way instead of using out using elements, the uh, actually CG computer graphic was used to remove blood, for example. So blood was already, you know, added during our uh, live action sequences, and then you know, so by by removing these, you know, excessive blood for for more realistic effect. I think that worked very well. Yeah, it did. It did. Um, was it hard finding creative ways to kill off some of the people in this film? And did you have any favorites? Because mine personally, I like the scene where he pulled off the guy's arm and was hitting. Uh, he killed him with his own arm. Um, so, yes, I, I, I understand. I know that Sam Raimi, for example, like Sam Raimi's uh, one of his well-known films is Evil Dead. Uh, and uh, and also sorted all these horror films that we know well. Yes, they have uh, creative ways of killing. And Thirteenth Friday, it's it's this entire series of Thirteenth Fridays. And so the the more series progresses, and uh, the create filmmakers creators have to come up with uh, different ways to kill you know characters. However, but I d I never thought that my movie would be a gore film with a gory film or horror or slasher or splatter films. I was just a thing making an action film with much more heightened way of uh, showing these you know these actions so meaning i the killing was for not for nothing 
the characters were killing each other to ultimately ensure their own survival, meaning they kill to live. Yeah. And so, for example, you mentioned that the arm scene, but it's not because the, the, the alpha the, well, wanted to just do it in a creative way. It's more, more like the arm was right there. Maybe the mm -hmm. arm was stretched out. So he just grabbed it because it was the realistic solution and pulled it out and because he was able to. And so my actions are based on reality. Okay. You know, that's at least my realistic imagination. This <laughs> is going to happen realistically. That yeah. was the basis of all these actions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, now, you found a perfect balance mixing, like you said, different genres, sci-fi and horror and action. For your next project, is there another genre that you kind of want to add to this? Like add, uh, have like maybe five different, five different genres in, in one film? 이, 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 이 작품에도 지금 세 가지 장르를 아주 완벽하게 균형감 있게 잘 넣으셨는데 앞으로 더 추가하시고 싶은 다음 작품에서 그런 장르가 있으세요? 예를 들면 다섯 개의 장르를 하나로 묶어서 뭔가 해보고 싶다. 없어요. 네. 아, no, I don't think so. I don't. 아마 well, the film is about two hours. So, you know, three, the, the mix, mixing three genres within a two hour film, that might be slightly a little too much. Maybe I just need it. So, slightly. But, but for my next film, perhaps I want to combine two. For me, the best example of mixed genre is uh, um, Robert, Robert Rodriguez is from Dusk Till Dawn. Yeah. So, something like that. That would be my, uh, you know, good uh, example to follow. Think about nice. it. Nice. Now, you mentioned Robert Rodriguez and Sam Raimi. What films did you grow up on that really inspired your style? Um, so I, uh, I, in, during, in my 20s, I watched and I really liked these three movies, Amores Paris, uh, that's the Inaritu, uh, and Alejandro Inaritu, and The City of God, as well as A Training Day. So those, those are three movies that really affected me. But also, I'm a big fan of Martin, Martin Scorsese. I love his, uh, you know, big narrative, epic narrative films, and and I also like, you know, cinematic, like you know, um, fateful, like a destiny, destined love stories, such as Serendipity. I like all kinds of genres, actually. Uh, That's nice. That's nice. Now there's a there's a few characters in in this story. Um, you know, some have some really deep stories and really deep uh, story arcs. Was there a character that didn't actually get? Um, you felt like they needed like a bigger story arc. I know it was two hours, but was there a character you wanted to expand more? Uh, for me, it would be the alpha character. Perhaps I could have explained about his background and other char characteristics of him, meaning maybe it could have helped audience to understand him, you know, a little more uh, communication to the audience. Of course, I think there's enough element, uh, you know, there's enough story told about him for the audience to understand it. However, however for example, some audience member asked me, wondered why that, that you know, this noise Alpha makes when he walks. They hear this kind of metallic sound when he walks, like a heavy sound. It's because the bottom half, the lower half of his body frame, you know, is made of tungsten. His, his bone structure is replaced with tungsten, like his, his uh, spine and his femur and the hip bones are replaced. The reason I uh, said that way is that we learned that tungsten was actually used in 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 in, in a weaponry like you know the the uh, the 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 mouth of of the gun is made of tungsten and the tungsten is a second hardest element uh, material uh known in this world next to diamond so yeah. that's why i decided to use tungsten and incorporate it into alpha's body so perhaps i could have explained why he makes that noise oh that's that's really cool that's really cool now, the film is a huge success. Like a lot of people who have seen it loved it. I can't wait for the rest of the world to see it. Um, there has been a huge trend, or at least within the past couple of years of, uh, you know, the West um, being really excited and loving like, you know, uh, Korean films, uh, Chinese films. Um, uh, what? How do you feel about that? And does it make it, does it um, motivate you to make more movies knowing that it can reach a bigger audience? Yes, I, I have to say that I have been influenced tremendously. Personally, um, 
It's been 10 years since I started making movie, and if I include the TV shows that I've been making, 20 years I've been in this industry. And so, yes, of course, I'm aware that uh, the lately that the Korean films are really uh, well received, starting with the uh, most notable examples are the Parasite and the Squid Game. Also, K-pop has large influence, and so. Which made me realize that oh, this, you know, the the Korean culture, the Korean stories we're making, it, it can have impact and uh, be communicable beyond our border, our na national borders. So uh, Martin Scorsese said this: that the most personal thing is actually the most universal that can be communicated to the, you know. So I, I really believe in that. So that we try to communicate the Korean, the filmmakers, the creators to the rest of the world, and the world is also very receptive to what we are trying to communicate. And that's very, very encouraging. And I also, and it's inspiring. So that is going to inform my next work. Nice, nice, that, I love that, I love that answer. Um, you know, when you're speaking about your next work, I feel like there's so much more story to these to these characters. Are there plans for maybe sequels or maybe even prequels, like you know, going back to the 19, uh, 1940s? Thank you so much for your support. I, I really appreciate it. And yes, if there's an opportunity, I love to uh, make prequel, prequel and sequel. And prequel, I think it would be the best as an OTT, over the top drama, the street for streaming. And the sequel for a theatrical release. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, thank you so much for your time, and thank you for you know all your your insightful and amazing questions. Uh, I do enjoy your 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 taste in movies. It's it's uh it's very uh it's it 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 it, it makes sense, and I I really hope that uh, I get to see more of your work in the future. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.